Hello everyone. And welcome to Todd Howard Simulator 2017. I mean Skyrim! <laughs> yeah. I actually um, have played Skyrim a long time on the console, and now I can finally play it. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, by the way, I will be playing Skyrim for a little bit. It might help me quite a while. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the series. I know I want... I don't necessarily want it to be a challenge, like I did with my last series. You know, with... Like, well, not last series, I guess current series, Oblivion. Oblivion's a challenge. I want this to be more of a, you know, a fun time. More, a little bit more role play in there. You know, focused more on that kind of junk. I'm not going to be in character, really. I tend to do third person role playing a little bit more. Not as much, but, you know. It's, it's like, pa not passive third person, but like active third person. I'll, 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 you'll, you'll see how I kind of do it when it comes to Skyrim. I don't know. It's, it's a thing. But yeah, um, we're going to be playing Skyrim. It's going to be fun. I don't know how long the series is going to be. I don't know how much I'm going to be doing it, but Todd Howard added up to uh, Skyrim hype again, so you know what we got to do it. Now, um, I might go in and, yeah, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if this works. Every time I task manager, shit gets fucked, but I'm going to try to up the game volume a little bit, because this is like the loudest part of the game from my experience. I think that works out, because what I want it to be is obviously I want it to be louder than me when I'm silent. That should work out. Well, let's see if it worked. Yay! Okay, everything's back. Okay, good. Now, I could continue, but, of course, this is YouTube. So we are going to start a new game. Oh my god. By the way, in case you didn't want to know, the end of that song says, Fucking cool! Oh my god! You know, just just letting you know, just just so you always, much like me, never can unhear it again. Now I'll be quiet, except for when they talk to me. The intro screen we've all seen a million times. Zubralif, Ralif, Rupif, Rufi. That imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief over there. They did. Damn hey, other did. Close. Skyrim was fine until you. Oh, I was in the lock here. I never know. I never play with subtitles on. I turned it on for the series. Stolen that horse and then halfway to Hammerfell. You there, you and me. We shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now. Shut up back there. What's wrong with him? Huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Don't matter if he's gonna be dead. Ulfric, the Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, oh God, <coughs> where are they taking us? I don't know where we're going, but Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Even on hey, low settings, cams look what looks pretty. What village are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts. Rorikstead. I'm. I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. You can see a barrel in there sure. in the background. Mom, Debella, Kinnereth, Akatosh, Divines, please help me. Look at him. 
General Tully is the military governor. And it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Damn elves. Hmm. There they are. I've never actually the seen them. <laughs> I have to keep looking around. I always look this way. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Isn't aren't juniper berries poisonous though? Like well, not in this game, but like in real life. Imperial aren't they? I think they are. Used to make me feel so safe. Where are they getting? Where are they going? You need to go inside the boat. Why? Because you're gonna die. <laughs> you're gonna die if you're out here, boy. Get inside. <laughs> Who's that guy? Why are we okay. stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. <coughs> Almost all of them look the same. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. <coughs> your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak. Auto saving. Yarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Kraloff of Riverwood. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Halt! You're not gonna kill me. Archers! Bonk. <laughs> he did the splits. Damn. No, no, ma'am. I don't feel like running. I don't have any legs even. I can't run. <laughs> Are you? Oh gosh, not a Nord. That's for sure. Um, by the way, I already did the little thing to decide what my race is going to be. Let's go through all the races, just so you know about them. <coughs> the Wood Elf, a.k.a. the next game. Uh, <coughs> the clan folk of the western Valen Wood Forest, also known as Bosmer. Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all Tamriel. They have natural resilience both poison and diseases. The king companion elves to fight for them. They also get someone familiar as a first level thing. There's a red guard, naturally talented warrior, the most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel, the red guards of Hammerfell have a hardy constitution and natural resistance to poison, then call upon an adrenaline rush in combat. They also fucking hate magic. Just FYI. Just, they really hate magic. Also, this game is black people. <laughs> For being honest here. The people of <coughs> Woth. Garin and Dragontail Mountains. Orcish smiths are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops and heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire, and fearsome have been using their Berserker Rage. Berserker Rage is really useful, not gonna lie. It's like, insanely useful. Nords, yeah, we know them. We're gonna be definitely learning about them. The Khajiit, otherwise known as the people everyone plays because we love cats and the internet. Yes, the beast folk everyone love. But yeah, you, you just, you probably were reading that, probably. If not, you can pause, it's cool. I'm just sick of reading it, honestly. These guys are the Imperials. These are the people that the guys are talking about. They're they're pretty cool, honestly. They're basically like diplomats and warriors and like general, like basically light infantrymen. The High Elves, otherwise known as the Douchebags. They are also part of the Thalmor and yeah, they're pretty annoying. In lore, they believe that like Nern, which is the world we're on, is a prison and stuff, and they were put here as punishment, and all this other bullshit, but yeah. The Dark Elves, who you definitely know if you played Morrowind, or if you played Soul's Time, or if you've played the new Morrowind expansion for ESO, it was the Dark Elves, they are the people that worship the Daedra and everything, and yeah. They also have ancestor worship as well, and their thing. The Breton, who are like the weird half-elf people, they're basically like the British, sort of. They're pretty cool, actually, and their dragon skin ability is really nice. I've never played a Breton, though, and probably won't this, because I'm playing, and I got it! Yay, lizard people! I haven't actually seen a Let's Play with the Argonian, which is weird, because, like, they're one of the most popular races in my friend group when it comes to the Elder Scrolls. 
Yeah, um, this reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their black marsh homeland, has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the histin skin to regenerate health very quickly. It's useful. It's useful. Not as useful as Berserker Rage, but still really nice. Um, I am gonna do character creation on my own. Just FYI, though. Playing a lady. <laughs> so. I will get back to you guys on everything. And also on my mod list in a second. So, yeah. Character creation. It's gonna be fun. Promise. Not. Okay, I just want, wanted to take a quick moment here during my character creation. Give you guys A, a sneak peek, and B. Um, just so you know, I do have like HD eyes set on. So, like, the eyes should actually be like really cool and high definition. So, yeah, just, just an FYI. And there's also a lot more choices. Like, look at all these choices! So yeah, we have we have a lot of different choices now for our guardians and eyes and stuff. So I'll be um I'll get back to you guys on what I want these eyes to look like. Okay, I'm back. This is this is our lovely lady we're going to be playing with for this playthrough. I did choose the blind eyes. You'll you'll see why in a sec. R do I do? Or actually, wait. I need to go to hair and then press R. That's right. R. Or, wait, F, yeah, because I rebound keys. Just name your character, yes. Her name is going to be... C's in... I forget if it's capitalist. Eyes of stars. Are you a relative of one of the Rift and Dark Workers, Agonian? Captain, what should we do? She's not on the list. Forget the list. She goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. By the way, I am making I'm it sorry. so she is a relative of we'll the sure Rift and Dark Workers. Black Follow yeah, the captain's just an FYI. Way. That's why she's in Skyrim. She's trying to visit her goddamn relatives. And these douchebags are just like, nah, fam. <laughs> she's like, damn. When the fucking guys jeez she's from Cyrodiil by the way is my thing she's like from Cyrodiil some here in Helgen call you a hero but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne I'll talk about her family later you started this war plunged Skyrim into chaos and now the empire still can't see my bottom got no feet guys got no feet in first person peace. Oh shit, boys! What was that? Oh shit! I don't know what it is. Not. Totally not death and destruction. Give them their last right. Mysterious noises are definitely not a problem in a fantasy setting. To Blessings of the eight divines upon you. For the love of Talos, shut up and be sober. Our beloved, as you wish. <laughs> I'm surprised that she didn't actually like physically get cut off earlier. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Love how he just has a generic name. Oh gosh. <laughs> Probably turned it down too much there. I think you could still see it though. You Imperial bastards! Justice! Death to the Stormcloaks! As fearless in death as it was in life. Next, the lizard! Hey! That's racism. Here it is again. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Do I have to can you at least sweep the guy's body away? Like seriously. I can at least sweep his fucking body away. I gotta like kneel down on some dead guy's corpse? God. Jeez. Gosh. Oh, Daddy, is that you? <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Just making a horrible joke. Oh God, we're gonna die. I never realized the executioner walked that close. All of a sudden, the body's mysteriously gone. Oh God! 
Zombies! Zambinos! Oh, he actually, like, specifically asks me to go. That's cool. I didn't know. Just didn't get that. Oh. Hold on. What is that thing? Could the legends be true? No. Legends don't burn down. One of the few lines from this guy that are actually good. Can't believe I'm helping Donald Trump escape. This is horrible. We should all be ashamed of ourselves. Alright, let's go up. Daddy? <laughs> I'm gonna make that joke a lot, by the way, just did FYI. It's horrible, I know, but I gotta make it. Oh yeah, don't stand in that. That's probably a bad idea. What could possibly go wrong? Also introducing fall damage. Never come out that way, so might as well. Oh, the kid actually got out. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Oh, okay. Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you. Honestly, I like Hadvar a hell of a lot more than like the other guy, Roloff. Stay close to the wall. Like, Hadvar actually seems like he's trying to, like, A, help people, and B, he actually seems like he cares about the people here. Like, in, of Helgen, specifically. Like, I get that the Stormcloaks care about Skyrim and everything, but he actually seems like he cares about Helgen specifically. Also, you can notice that the um, the eight divines. I don't know. I'm saying this for people that haven't played Elder Scrolls games. You get you can see that one guy talked about the eight divines versus um, the nine divines or Talos. We'll learn about that later. Hell no! I'm following Havgar. He actually cares about these people, unlike you, asshole. Also, the Imperials, in my opinion, are just a lot more fun. <laughs> I like the Imperials. They they feel a lot more like organic, and also like uh, you'll you'll see what I ta I'm talking about later on. In a lot of respects, the fact that why I prefer the Imperials. Um, obviously, there are Stormcloak players, and I'm just gonna say right off the bat, the Stormcloaks are not the wrong. Was that really a drag? path, Bring us of the in my times. opinion. Probably did. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. Plus. There you go. Take a look around. There should oh, be plenty nice. to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. Alright, sweet. So this is my character full in her full Argonian glory. Some. Yeah. She actually looks even better in the light, honestly. I like how the red kind of plays off. It plays off a lot better in this light, though. It's off a lot better in this light. Uh, by the way, you can add your character, I think. If I remember correctly. Um, there's an Imperial Light Helmet. There's some gold. I'm probably not going to use helmets as an Argonian. I don't like using helmets as an like Argonian. Because they cover up my horns. The charm points, as one of my friends would say. You know who you are. You Assuming you're even watching this. Hm. Doubt she'd actually be watching it, but if she is, that's nice. Thank you. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Armor, armor, yeah. I'm taking all this shit. Ah, there you go. You better get that armor on. Give that sword a few swings too. Let's keep moving. Okay, well, I know how to do all this already. Oh, by the way, I have some mods installed, hence why everything looks different. <laughs> I should have said that earlier. Um, I have that eye mod installed, like I said, that makes Argonian and Khajiit eyes look a lot better, because I always feel like those are kind of ignored. I have one that, like, turns the teeth better, because the teeth bother me a lot on Argonians, especially the tongue. It looks just really fucking weird, and it's disturbing. Now they look better. Um, 
Yeah, so I have a teeth whitener. I have one that kind of refines the graphics a little bit. It um, it just helps make them a little less grainy on the people. You probably don't even notice. On everyone, really, it does that. Um, I have a, a follower installed who we will see in Riften. That's another reason why I've made this character so she has relatives in Riften. While we go through the tutorial, which you've probably seen a million times, I'll talk about her and her character a lot. Um, while I'm putting these things on. I will also probably talk about my battle style. But yeah, whatever. Um, you'll also notice that she is kind of, you know, she's kind of spooked with all this stuff. Um, I'm dual wielding for now, at least. Um, she's a little spooked. Um, I'm probably going to be playing a thiefish kind of character mixed with a mage. I don't want to play like a battle mage like I play with every other playthrough. So, um, yeah, I probably will end up gravitating towards it anyway, but I know at the very least I'm going to go light armor this playthrough. I'm going to do light armor, specifically. Um, yeah, though, I am trying my hardest to play this game as faithfully as I can. Um, so most mods are not, like, directly installed. I will be playing, you know, a lot of other mods later on. I'll be installing mods as this playthrough goes. The list at the bottom in the description will show you all the mods I have installed. Um, I probably forgot to mention some, just because even though I don't have a lot, it's like I have like less than 10 mods installed, but yeah. Obviously this is Sky UI, by the way. This is, if you play PC Skyrim, please, for the love of God, install Sky UI. It makes things so much easier. I was hesitant at first, but dear God, I love it so much. And tab, I forget. I've been playing too much Pokemon. Press F to ready your weapon. Yep. Oh, wrong direction. Okay. By the way, I'm not going to play in third person all the time, I just want to kind of get a look at my character. Also, wait. Thing I need to check out. Yeah, the helmet covers my horns. Not going to take it. I only accept hoods. We need to get moving. That dragon is tearing up the whole keep. Just give me a minute. I'm out of bed. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. <sighs> was it? Yeah, control. Hold up now. We only want to hear something. If you want to die, then so Nice. There you go. Let me see if I can get that door open. Okay, one sec. Um, Iron War Axe take, Hide Shield take. Um, I want those gauntlets. Take the boots and the curse, even. Nude. Take the Warhammer for the value. Gungar. If you chose the Imperials, I do know him more. Slightly more, I believe. I don't know if it's like, you know him intently. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Just wanted to see if it. By the way, you literally enter directly into this room, if I remember correctly, when you become the Stormcloaks. So that whole room where I got all that stuff, you don't get that. A storm cloak. You just loot off Gun Gear's body right there. Well, let me put on these gauntlets because I'm gonna want that, and I'm gonna put on the shield. Come on, this way. Cabbage, cabbage. My cabbages! My cabbages! I like how it kind of tells you how to use what you have equipped versus what you could have equipped. Oh, you got dead. Yep, they did. Oh, my magic. I also forgot to check. Do I have? No, I don't start with uh, sparks. I mean, I didn't as an orc, but I thought it was just because orcs are bad at magic. They usually at least. Probably should block that. I'm good at combat, I promise. There's no escape. Oh shit! Kill camp! Oh. 
God. Might come in handy. Yep, that's what I said. Potion of minor healing, some wine. I know all the loot in this game pretty much because I've played over a thousand hours of Skyrim, so I'd hope I'm good at this game at this point. Definitely not good enough for master difficulty. Though. Holy shit, the people, the people that can do master difficulty are on like another level. Like they're just, they're just crazy. By the way, I will come back to Helgen at one point, but I'm gonna try to make everything in this game, um, like, it work with my character in a roleplay sense. I am going to try to do some stuff, and I'm gonna, you're, you'll see kind of how I'm reasoning, how I'm going through all of the different, like, quest lines and everything with her. Hopefully it will make sense. I, I've never found these rock warbler eggs, I'm totally taking those. Those things are hard to come by. God, four of them? Jeez. That's pretty nice. Um, this way. I wasn't done then, but okay, I guess. Oh. Hey there, buddy old pal. Let's just chop you down. And just... Oh god, I killed him. Whoopsies. Wrong person. Uh, let me just, uh... Let me just... <laughs> you saw nothing. Along just in time. These boys I hate that voice so much. A bit upset at how I've been Comrades. Okay. Don't you even know what's going on? A dragon is attacking Helgen. He's doing makeup nonsense. Please, don't make up nonsense. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. there a thing in here? Yes. Come with us. We need to get out of here. Be fist through the Empire. You have no yeah. authority over me, boy. Didn't you hear me? I said the keep is under attack. Oh. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this cage. Don't bother with that. Lost the key ages ago. Poor fellow screamed for weeks. See if you can get it open with some picks. I'm gonna do that because you know it's nice. Let's take this. With the lockpicking tutorial. It's not anywhere near as good on PC as it used to be. Sure, take all my things, please. Ah, yes, good. By the way, yes, I know the hood covers the horns. I'm gonna try to find a mod to fix that because I know there is one. I just haven't figured out how to install it yet. So let's just see if that looks better. That looks a little better. I like that more, honestly. Yeah, I only use hoods on Argonians. <laughs> I don't use helmets. Because the snout bothers me more than the horns, honestly. The horns bother me a lot, but like I can handle it, I guess, because I'm used to playing characters with horns in video games. But like, I just cannot, for the life of me, handle the snout. That's just too much for my immersion, for some reason. Don't ask me why, it's just that's the thing that breaks my immersion. <laughs> of all the different immersion breaking things in this game. Grab some bone meal and some gold. Yeah, this one, I believe, is the only one that actually has any stuff in it, really. Grabbing as much as I can in here. Yeah, though, our character. Um, she is going to be pretty dominantly a thief slash, slash caster. Um, she knows magic, which is why I'm getting that hood um, already. She knows destruction and healing already, so I like to think she's a very basic mage. I think the reason she came to Skyrim was she was looking at, you know, she's like, oh, I want to get into alchemy and all this other stuff and all these things, all these doodads. And in order to get to Skyrim, she needed someone to, you know, kind of look after her while she figured everything out. And that explains why she um, is sticking with her people in Riften. Why like she's moving to Riften first. Um, so that's a thing. She did get into a lot of trouble as a kid. 
She, that's why she has such a high security skill, not just because she's an Argonian, but because she did get into some trouble as a kid. She was a lock pick for... Hey, guys. It's been a long time since I've used a sword and board character. Not that she's sword and board, really, but... Search that. Grab that iron arrow. Oh, sorry. I'm so used to fighting the Imperials. Wait. Watch this. By the way, if you ever see that stuff on the ground, just a uh, piece of advice. Don't stand in the fucking fire! God. Ah, oh, the beauty of Skyrim. God, I forgot how little damage swords did, but they hit really fast, so that's cool. Ah, uh, there's the longbow. Okay, yes, yeah, good. This is what we're going to be using more than anything. We're going to be using bow and arrow. At least I'm going to try to use bow and arrow more. It's hard for me, because I play predominantly... Warrior characters like that. I usually play battle mages, but I am going to try my damnedest. Wait, what? Oh, I'm an idiot! Forgot I swapped favorite and stuff because I'm an idiot. <laughs> F is drop, so F is favorite now. No, it's not. Okay. I'm getting two longbows because, yeah, it's easy to refine them and I can up your blacksmithing skill really easy. And even as a ma this kind of character, you still need that. So, yeah. And there's me, my iron arrows. Actually, I shouldn't have to favorite that because they're arrows, so I should just have them equipped. And I will also be favoriting the swords. So, yeah. And Q, right? Yeah, Q brings up this menu. Let's okay, see what cool. this goes. Yay! Bonk. Lever comes down. There's gonna be some spiders dropping. So I'm crouching. Wasn't there loot over here? No, there wasn't. Okay. Don't the spiders drop here? Or no, it's later. I guess we're lucky that didn't come down on top of us. True. Gotta love that Deus Ex Machina, am I right, man? Oh, that's what the loot is, yeah. Um, I don't think there's any loot up there. But if we head over here, I'm gonna kinda teach you guys the secrets of this game as much as I can. Because I am obsessive, like I said, about this game, and I remember all the secrets, especially in the starter area. Yeah, right here you can get a coin purse with some, some basic starter gold over here. Every little bit of gold counts, in my opinion, in this game. Um, yeah, there's that little bit right there, though, that's nice. Um head up here, which brings you over to this bit. There's no actual loot here, I just think it's kind of cool that they put this in. You can kind of like look up and it looks pretty and stuff, and you know, I'm pretty sure they put that in at one point to uh, impress the developers. You can get to here by that, so that's cool. Too bad there's no acrobatic skill in this one. Otherwise, that would be extra awesome. Yeah, you can get through it to it back through there, I believe that's what I was why I was thinking the loot was through there. Gotta keep going. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. There's obviously this guy that you can get gold from. Uh doesn't go anywhere. I guess we'd better try this way. There we go this way. I'm gonna crouch because right here is where the spiders pop up as you can see. Holy shit, I one shot him! Nice! Right through the leg. Nice! God, I'm just getting fools. Jesus Christ, that is satisfying. I never play high archery characters, so archery's always seemed really bad to me.
I'll let you take care of that, Hadvar. Yay, sneak increased. I'm almost through level one. It's only the beginner area. Okay, I'm searching all these guys because sometimes you can get amethyst and also venom is nice. Frostbite venom's a really good beginner poison. Hell, I even used it in the late game. It's pretty nice. Like, if, especially if you don't really invest that much in poison specifically. It's good. Search the egg sacks for the spider eggs. All of this, by the way, yes, I know. It's very better. People are like have probably seen this a thousand times in the beginning area, but I feel like it's important because I'm talking about the how our character fits. Um, this first episode, obviously being a first episode, it's going to be kind of longer, so sorry. I'm going to end the episode when we get out of here. And then I'm going to um, start up a new episode. And that's what's going to happen. Um, we're getting closer to the end. I usually am able to pretty much speed run through this. I'm going to try to keep all my episodes to around half an hour. I might do a little more cutting than I usually do in my series. Um, probably for the in-betweens and the fast travel bits. And I am going to go through random caves and all that junk. I'm not going to just well, be, you know, beeline through the quests, the main quest. Um, so yeah, don't expect Come that. On, hurry up. I know, I know. God. It's picking my ass, Hadvar. Both of them are like that, by the way. The other guy's just more polite about it. But yeah, um... I prefer the Imperials mainly because I feel like they fit more within Skyrim, if that makes sense. Like, the guys care for Skyrim not in the way that, in my opinion, is actually caring for Skyrim and the Stormcloaks. They just like the idea of, like, a pure Skyrim. They don't actually like Skyrim as it is. They're revisionists. I mean... You know, and I know your ancestors are important, all that, especially in medieval times like this, but or in a fantasy setting. But I don't know. I'm personally the kind of person that I believe you should kind of move past your ancestors and focus on the on. day that is now. Yes, I do. I'm gonna attack her in a second. Go ahead. Oh, take that Blackbriar I'll Mead. I don't know why Blackbriar sure. Mead's down here, but you know what? Whatever. Take that lantern. Not that I can use it for light or anything. Just taking it because. Oh my god. Please. There you go. Clippers, Alto Wine, Alto Wine. Oh, what the fuck ever. I guess that's a way to do it. Uh. Watch this. Oh! Not sneaking. No, I am sneaking, you asshole. Not the sneaking type, huh? I am the sneaking type. <laughs> Watch that. I just two shot a fucking bear, man. You think I'm not the sneaking type? Damn. Uh, the bear, I'm pretty sure, is the only loot around here, if I remember correctly. I've searched most of these bone piles. But, bears are nice, so you can get bear calls in the bear pelt. Which are valuable. And they give you a lot of leather, which we're gonna need, because leather is like... People always talk about iron daggers. In my opinion, leather, and like smithing with leather, is the actual best way to up your blacksmithing. And I know, because I've, I've gotten 100 blacksmithing, like as my first 100 skill. So I feel like I'm capable of making that claim. This looks like the way out. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, let me check my time. Yeah, I'm about at the end of an episode, so... Gonna call it just a little bit after this. Also, I love this. Oh, this is my favorite splash screen. I, I get it so not that often. So not that often, yes. I, I speak word Wait. good. Person can be pickpocketed, damn. Looks like he's gone for good this yeah. time. Yeah. You might have been able to see him go through the trees there. Back. Completed, unbound. From Harry's River. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. And start it before the storm. So, uh, hey everybody, that is it for episode one. Thank you very much. I know this has been a very long episode, but it should be fine. Thank you for joining me in episode one. Um, through episode two, again, I will continue talking about, um, God, what's her name? You would think I'd remember. Uh, Eyes of Stars. I'll continue talking about Eyes of Stars and how I'm going to work her and what I'm going to have her be, sort of. As you can see, um, she's already started with pickpocket and lockpicking and sneak, so I'm going to make her more of a thiefy character. 
So that's going to be a thing. But exactly what we're going to be doing with magic, well, well, we'll we'll start to see that in a little bit. But thank you all for watching. Love you guys. Um, this has been Beowulf the Cool at YouTube.com. And don't you forget about me.